think I stayed three. I think so. We stayed at Cat Island last night. We were gonna stay here again, but the Admiral changed his mind this morning at 4 a.m. and so we're leaving here, we're going to Rum K. Our serious fishing will start now. Hopefully Liz doesn't get seasick today. Today's gonna be a good day. Foster and Royd are rigging up the rubber fish for the dredge. Whoa. Hopefully they're doing it right. Foster's been drinking a lot of cherry cokes. Cap How's the cherry coke supply, Foster? Captain Scott wants to get the secret weapon out today. How's the cherry coke supply? Hey Cap, I was wondering, when can we pull out the thing? The thing? We're not there yet. We're not gonna be there. I'll let you know, but we're not there yet. They want to pot that thing. We got the bananas, just in we case. Gotta we gotta eat those before they spoil. Uh, we're gonna catch a fish soon. Or we're getting hungry. set up. Got the teasers going out. Got a dredge here. Value out on one side. Some big lures. Tyler's working on a mackerel. We're gonna start trolling, so we're gonna probably fish. We're gonna go about 90 miles today, so at eight knots, nine knots, you know, we got 10, 11 hours to go. We'll see what happens today. Maybe elephant tuna or big dolphin. We're, we're getting ready, we'll be ready, hopefully. You get, Blue Marlin comes up quick. He'd be trolling out here for six, eight hours, sometimes two, three days. He comes, better hope we catch him. A lot of time invested, a lot of money. Exciting though, he comes up back there chasing that lure. Hopefully we get him. The countless hours begin. We can troll for hours and hours, days and days, waiting for a bite. We're hooked up. Foster's got something on, we put out a small lure. Something hit it. We need bait or we need dinner. We need both, actually. Get him, Foster. Get him on, dude. I'm gonna get him a cherry coke. <laughs> Quick, get him a cherry coke. He's running out of energy. This could be our dinner. Here he comes, Jamie. Tyler, don't mess it up. Oh, here, yellow, it's a tuna. I don't know if it's a blackfin or a yellowfin. It's a yellowfin. Oh. Yeah, yellowfin tuna, baby. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Sushi. That's dinner right there, that's sushi. Look at that thing. So we've been trolling three hours now. You know, we left Cat Island this morning. We actually caught a small yellowfin tuna. Not a big one, but either we're gonna eat them or we might use them for bait trying to catch a big fish. We got the blue marlin spread out now. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend the next couple weeks while we're here fishing for blue marlin. My dad and uncle, they're staying for a month. This is my dad's vacation, we're tagging along. Nothing like getting yelled at when you're 36 years old on a family vacation. But uh, we got Tyler here taking some abuse, Jamie, Foster, especially Foster, Scott. And we're just waiting for that bite. Hopefully we get a shot today. There's a lot of seaweed out here. We've been having to clear the lines, bring the, the lines in to get the seaweed off. A lot of weed coming through right now, this moment. But we got a couple baits out, Ballyhoo. We got some teasers ready. And if these blue bones come up, we're gonna try to throw them a Ballyhoo for and a pitch bait. We're looking forward to the thing. We've got the thing hidden away. We're gonna plot in a couple days. Foster's trying to find Scott his vitamins. He's been down there for an hour eating cherry cokes. But it can be very boring doing this. But when it happens, not if, but when it happens, it is very exciting. There could be a blue marlin back there. He could be two, 300 pounds, might be five or 600 pounds. Coming at eight knots, nine knots, chasing it. We gotta try to get him. So right now we got three teasers out. And a teaser doesn't have a hook in it. You know, it's a lure to tease the fish up. Something bigger causes commotion. Foster's caught four blue marlin his entire life. One in the Atlantic. Tyler, you got two? One, two Tyler's got two, so. We all got a lot to learn. I've probably seen 100 caught. Scott, my dad, caught more than that. I've seen 150. But anyhow, we got those big lures out there. No hooking them, that's the teaser to try to attract them. We're gonna throw this bait out there. We got a hook in that bait. And that's called a pitch bait. What you do is we're gonna pitch it in the water, let it back there. Shameless plug on our new rod. And uh, hopefully that blue marlin will come off the teaser. He'll follow it, we'll get that away from him. And we're gonna try to let him eat this bait with a hook in it. It's pretty exciting. If it happens, I hope it happens today. If not, we got 10 more days ahead of us, so we'll see. One day, I wanna put out the thing, but it's not today. They've got a thing, they're waiting 
to pull it out. It's a sicker weapon. And right now, I'm just a gopher. I go for this. I go for that. I go for it all. Foster, get the salt. Foster, go drink a cherry coke. 300 miles we ran to this set of birds. Well, I was back home to all position, but my fuel bill was crazy. Get fired over that. First thing we see, though, might be big elephants, might be little ones, might be a blue marlin in it. We're going to go find out. Big set of birds. Here we go. I think sharks ate them. I think it was a nice tune. I think the sharks got them. I know I'm out of shape though. My arm is on fire. I don't know. It's scoping up. Unless he's racing to the surface. There ain't no pressure now. Turn and burn. That thing was way back there. Here he comes. Here it comes. I think it's just the head left. Just the lips. Just the lips. He got eaten. Ah, oh, it was a nice elephant, too. Oh, man. That would have been a nice tuna. It's probably a 30 pound elephant, not a monster, but the sharks are out here really thick, you guys. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. The sharks are out here. On the bright side, there's a little bit of meat left, so we got an appetizer. Try number two. I guess I'm cranking it again. We're going up on our drag. Turning and burning. I think the sharks are on them already. Alright, get a bigger rod with another more valleys for us. Hurry up. I mean instantly the sharks are on them within minutes. Within a minute the sharks are on them. You can just tell heavy, steady weight. Good way to test our tackle, though. Sharks got him. Whew. We're burning them up now, folks. We got a cluster going on. Is it a blackfin? It's a blackfin. We came all this way to catch a blackfin? Blackfin tuna. That ripped his lips off. Get a slam going. We need a skipjack. All right. We need a big elephant. At least we got a whole one of the boat. Sharks ate the big elephants. There's yellowfins and blackfins mixed in here together. We want yellowfin though. We get blackfin at home. We want more yellowfin. Get tight. Come on, double up. On the spinner. Oh yeah. Oh man, he's dumping it. Oh, he's dumping it. Oh, Foster's hooked up. Look at him busting back there. Big bust back there. Got him on the spinner. Whooping him, baby. We're whooping him. Nick versus Foster. We're all the same team, but it's us versus the sharks. That's all I know. No. Hey, Cal, can we use the thing yet? Ah, shark got him. That's a shark there. Just got super heavy. They don't eat the skip yet. Ah. Real. Real. Keep winding, Foster. Keep winding. Here, You're getting closer. Water. You're getting closer. Here he comes. You're only 20 feet to go. There he is. Get him, Foster. It is a blackfin. It's a blackfin. Oh, man. There you go. Nice blackfin. Good job, Foster. Come on, dude! Get him, Foster! He's fine, he's underneath me. The little black fins. The yellow fins are too smart for us. The big ones outsmarted us, but we got good bait now. If you get him in, that's a good grouper bait there. Don't lose him, Foster. Swing him in. Oh, yeah, that's a good grouper bait. Look at that grouper bait there. What do I got? Yellow or black? I think I got a yellow fin. Oh! Blackfin. He was a scrapper though. One, two. The blackfins are biting. Oof. All right, put the marlin stuff All right, we're going back to marlin fishing. The yellowfins beat us up. We got one head. We got some nice blackfins, but the sharks are thick out here. The sharks, when you hook the big quality fish like the elephant, they know it. They eat them. No blue marlin bites yet. We've been trolling on it three hours. Best blue marlin fishing. 
Lots of hours hoping for that bite. But we do whatever it takes because we own the catch 22 and we want to catch the big fish point. Exactly what Foster just said, but we yeah. want to catch a big elephant. We got some scraps to eat right now, but we love one big whole one to eat. We could have a yellowfin tuna smorgasbord tonight. Let's see what A few hours of daylight left. We'll be to Rum K, anchor down, get some dinner on us, and we got tomorrow. We still got time today, though. It ain't over yet. We still got a couple hours of trolling. We're putting out more teasers. We come all this way, and we just saw another boat up here. They just hooked up and caught a blue marlin right next to us. He said yesterday they got a 700 pounder. Sounds like we were daily and a dollar short. And he said he got a couple this morning, so there's a few around. We just gotta wait our turn, and hopefully uh, get in the zone now. We gotta get that teaser in, gotta get those in, got two more teasers, got two rods out. We got two pitch fish ready. We're ready for a cluster. Come on, baby, give us this marlin. It's coming up, Mike. Come up, jump off the right side. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming up and jump. Here he comes, Jamie. We caught one. All right, blue marlin. We trolled. We've been trolling, I guess, about 10 hours that one bite. Thank goodness he stayed on there. First blue marlin I caught in a while. Small fish, about 100 pounder, looks like. Awesome to see. We got the leader. Gonna pull my boats out here, trying to get some pictures. Good job, Scott. We didn't get skunked, we got one. Why don't we put the ball up in the oh, There he goes. It's all right. Woo! Yep. No good picture, guys. You can see him tailing away there. So with Marlin, all you gotta do is like sail for your home. We just gotta get a hold of that leader. We were trying to hope they would jump it on our show for he didn't do that. We got a release. We're waiting for the big one now. They're starting to bite, baby. Tides are changing. Fish went down about 100 feet. Hope he comes up here, puts on a show for us. I saw him. He's a couple hundred pounder. Come on, fish. Scope up. Dance for us, baby. Fish all these hours for this bite. Come on, baby. Come on, on back. Blue marlin on, baby. We don't get to catch many of these in Alamorada. Woof. Oh boy, Jamie, watch the camera. There he is jumping, there he is jumping. Look at that blue marlin, baby. Look at that blue marlin getting it, baby, he's getting it. There you go, oh yeah, oh yeah. Making him dance. Oh my God. Blue marlin. There you go, blue marlin, look at him, there you go, keep him right there. Oh yeah, nice fish, beautiful fish. We got it. Let him go whenever you want, Foster. All right, there he goes. Nice work. Good job, Foster. That's why we do it right there. Trolled a couple of days, but got to the last hour and a half. Sun's going down. We got to go about eight, nine miles to go anchor. Great afternoon. Got two blue marlin. That's what we came for. Everyone's screaming and yelling. It's passion. That's what comes out. You get excited. You know, that's just the way you express it. But we got them. We got this yellowfin tuna, part of them. Sharks ate a lot of them. But we got one nice loin in here. And we're gonna get some sashimi in here to celebrate. We got pork chops thawing out. We're anchoring down tonight. So we're gonna have yellowfin tuna and pork chops. And I think we're gonna do this as the appetizer. And we should be fine. You know, we'll just cut away the part that the shark ate. But. 
the sharks got most of them. However, they didn't get all of them. And we don't want to eat where the shark touched, just in case, you know. We'll trim this off there like that. And we know it's blood out good. Look at that right there. That's beautiful, that's prime right there. We're gonna have a little more belly meat here. We got that out of the head there. Here we go, guys. I got a Ziploc here. We got dinner there. Look at that loin right there, I man, that's prime. Cut that out, that might be a sushi appetizer right there. That, that chunk right there, that's beautiful. We got tuna sushi, baby. We got soy sauce. I haven't had elephant since I can remember. And that's what's left there, so definitely a nice uh, little meal tonight. We're gonna get rid of that thing. Here we go. We'll see you when we anchor down. Pork chops, the elephant tuna coming up. So we're at Rum K, anchor down. It's kind of windy. The wind just picked up 15 to 20 knots. We're gonna be rolling tonight, working our way. We're making progress. We're getting closer to Provo and Turks and Caicos. You used to be able to go up here to the marina, but I guess the sand closed the channel in. Now you can't get up there, so we had to anchor out here. Maybe we we'll throw a line out. The wind's picking up. It's blowing 20 knots now. You can see the waves breaking. Scott got us here safely, put us on a couple of blue marlin, which was good. That's what we're here for. That's the target. That's what my dad loves doing there. That's how he wants to spend his vacation. It's kind of rough here, though. He's making the kids pull the anchor again. He just might not want to make them pull it anyhow, just for a little more workout. We're going to try to go up here another couple hundred yards. There's coral heads everywhere. You can see these black uh, spots. Those are coral heads. you got to be careful we don't hit those. Because you hit them, you could sink. And if we sink, I won't get to go home and see my girls. So we don't want that. Those waves breaking over there. We drift that way. You can sink quickly. Deploy the anchor, have some fun. Don't pull a gill again, make sure it's tied on. So this is that tuna, the big old head we had there. We're just slicing up nice and thin. We were hoping to sear some, but we don't have time. We ran out of gas on the grill. We got the pork checks on there. Jamie's saving the night. Our cook is down for the night. She ain't cooking, but uh, we're just slicing this nice and thin. I wasn't crazy about sushi growing up, but the last couple years I started eating it more and I actually enjoy it more and more. So just do one nice loin here for Foster and Tyler and me. We're gonna get some soy sauce in there. Got a little wasabi. I'm gonna pass the wasabi, but let's go dip it in there. Scott even asked, Foster, you better come get some yellowfin. We got wasabi? Fresh yellowfin. I don't know, go ask the chef. We got soy though, I know that. I want soy. <clears throat> Just dip it right in the soy sauce like that. You got a little paper plates? Are you kidding? Don't Killer. Stick my hands in Dad, here. do you want a bite? I didn't. You've been touching I, I didn't, I didn't uh, stick my hands fish. in it. It's good for you. <laughs> you, have, you have a fork? Uh, Get your hands He's not touching in there. He just laid in there and you dip it. <laughs> Foster, is it good? Delectable. Thank you very much, Nick. All right, the, the yellowfin <laughs> might taste like bait. <laughs> it is good. Scott's devouring it. We're all hungry. The pork checks are coming up soon. <laughs> Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tyler's eating it. Foster's eating it. Stand back. My dad's passing. Wait, wait. See if our chef down there wants some more. She's in the cabin down there. See if she wants I don't think Liz is eating any, so. You guys stay tuned. Look at this. Look at this. They devoured it. That was delicious, though. There's hardly anything left.